Hello. This might seem hopelessly pantic, but your video and the video responded to referred to laws of logic. The problem are is that there are no laws of logic. Now, before you assume anything, I'm not saying that all of a sudden, since there are no laws of logic, modus ponens, modus tollens are no longer going to hold. If you don't know what those are, I don't have time, just Google them. What is, I'll put links. The, the reason is is that um, they're, they're actually referred to as rules of logic. If you open up logic textbooks, they refer to them as rules, not laws. So there'll be rules of inference, you know, for one. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was Wittgenstein. So you mentioned Wittgenstein in your video, but to be honest, the guy you mentioned, the guy that you're responding to doesn't appear to know philosophy that well. Just overall, so you have to be careful. Wittgenstein is extremely hard to understand, and he's probably the most uh, misquoted and misused. So, just to be fair, if you hear someone quoting Wittgenstein on YouTube, just ignore it, because chances are they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, I took a class on the guy, and I still don't know know him that well. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, his idea, he explained this whole situation with laws of logic, and I think he's right. Basically, um, logic doesn't say anything about the, the real world directly. What logic does is it um, creates, it, it talks about the forms of propositions. So that's why uh, propositions of logic make up the forms of laws. It can never be a law, but it can be the form of a law. That's why there isn't a law of logic, but there is the form of a law that is logical. That's why it's important to refer to it as, to, to not use laws of logic, but refer to rules, because they can never be, they can never be laws themselves. It's similar to that situation in which libertarians used to refer to the axiom of non-aggression, and it had to be explained that, well, it's not really an axiom, it's more of a principle. And then they had they explained, oh, so it's not an axiom, that means you, there's exceptions, right? Ha ha ha. No. No, you're just misusing the word axiom. You should be using the word principle. And the same here. It's not a law. That doesn't mean there's exceptions to it, but you're just misusing the word. The word for it is rules. That is all.